Okay, now here we can see we are starting off our morning again. Still looking at the latest with Hurricane Delta as of seven o'clock. The number is coming in, not really changing at all. Uh, still winds of 100 and the moving northwest at 17, but the pressure is down a few millibars. That's a sign that it is starting to get strength stronger and starting to strengthen just a little bit. You can see here that again the big flare up of the white colors clouds here. That's the colder cloud tops, bigger thunderstorms developing around the center, and that's what we're going to start to see again. It's starting to intensify as we move forward. Right now, though, you can see. Some of the rain actually starting to work its way away from it. Look how far away it is. Again, the center is down here, so the radar doesn't quite get to that far. But these outer rain bands are already coming across part of southern Mississippi. Move through overnight. It's all light rain, nothing significant with it. But we've seen some of the clouds and rain coming on in this morning, and we'll see more of that as we go on into tonight and into the day tomorrow. So again, the storm is going to continue on that track to the northwest here through the afternoon. Get stronger up to a category three by one o'clock on Friday, probably just before that time. It'll be cat three and starting to turn turn there to the north being pulled north by that trough of low pressure. That's going to be battling some wind shears that happen. Strong southwest of the winds are going to start to rip the, the storm apart a little bit here, and it will weaken down to a category two. Slightly cooler waters here just off the coast of Louisiana, also helping to weaken it just a little bit by landfall, which occur roughly by dinner time on Friday between five, six, seven o'clock in the afternoon evening. Now, as we see here, the storm will work its way off to the northeast, and it's going to basically be riding around a ridge of high pressure that's sitting over part of the uh, western eastern Gulf of Mexico, and that trough is going to pull it there northeast. So as that happens, we're still going to be dealing with some impacts here during the day on Saturday. So again, the track shifted slightly west there. Again, landfall southwest Louisiana Friday afternoon and evening. Strength will be stronger in the Gulf, but weakened a little bit by a landfall with the impacts, storm surge, wind, heavy rain, and tornadoes for parts of Louisiana as well too. Here's your surge numbers again, three to five feet from the lakes area. So will impact the North Shore to parts of the metro area and the western part of the lake may see some high water as well too. There are three to five St. Bernard parts of Orleans and the eastern side of Plaquemines Parish from the mouth of the river to Port Shaw, four to six feet from Port Shaw west to Pecan Island, seven to 11 feet. So that is a significantly high surge coming on into the area. And the reason why we're seeing such a big area surge is the hurricane is expected to grow in Side. It's going to be a large hurricane as it moves on in. You'll see here the wind field fairly large as well, stretching from uh, basically Houston area almost to New Orleans, and then you can see the stronger winds kind of wrapping around it as well, too, as we get through landfall. So here's kind of what the uh, peak wind forecast I'm going with here by 90 to 100 mile per hour winds at landfall. So cat one, cat two type winds out there. Of course, it decreases the farther away you go from the center. So we are looking at 60 to 70 there from the Baton Rouge area. It's about 30 to 40 as you go between Baton Rouge and say I-55 and then east to the East of I-55, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds can be expected, which is including the New Orleans area and much of the North Shore. So just be prepared. It is going to get windy as we get into Friday, Friday night, and Saturday, uh, but nothing significant here. Obviously, as you get to Baton Rouge, probably some more issues with power outages and trees down, and obviously Lafayette all the way to Lake Charles will have more significant winds there. Rain totals 5 to 10 inches, of course, where it basically is tracking here from the coast to Alexandria, 2 to 6 in Baton Rouge, 2 to 3 in the North Shore, because, again, the storm is going to turn to the Northeast. So we still have some rain potential here and maybe about an inch or two if we're lucky down across the South Shore. As for tornadoes, there is a low risk today. Level one for tonight and into tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow a category two or level two, I should say here of severe weather for those brief tornadoes. So we need to watch out for that. We are going to be in that zone where that is going to be favorable. So today just some rain bands start to arrive. Winds pick up breezy bands of rain start moving in Friday with a few tornadoes and Friday night. That's when we'll start seeing some of the worst of it coming on in. Bands of heavy rain storm starts starting to move in along with a few tornadoes. Hazy cloudy out there now 75 slide out 72 in Hammond 77 in New Orleans and 75 view in the Homa area and you'll see the clouds continue to move on its way through with some of that rain we were just talking about there coming from the outer bands there of Delta. So as we go throughout the day, small chance of rain this morning, better chance 50 60% chance this afternoon. Some of you if you see some sunshine could get up to 86 degrees today as some of that rain sprinkles kind of move on through. This doesn't show much. I think we'll see a little more than what this shows, but as we head on into tonight, there's some of that rain coming on it and throughout the day tomorrow some bands of rain may move in and the heaviest obviously still near the Lake Charles area and then there's look at this band coming in from 2 a.m. on Saturday to roughly 7 a.m. on Saturday that could possibly produce some issues for us so we need to watch that Saturday night into early Saturday morning and then by the afternoon just a few lingering showers could work their way back across the area as the improving weather comes on in so 86 today but then of course going downhill Friday into Saturday drying out Sunday in the next week when another front comes through so we go from near 90 on Monday to only 80 by Wednesday.